irrigation. And his timing is, again, the five to seven minutes, five minutes green, six minutes yellow, and the rate seven, 30 more uh, seconds to wrap up speech. So let's welcome Toastmaster Sulindra Pranananga for James Humus has said, the art of communication is the system of leadership. Good evening, presiding officer, fellow Toastmaster, to be Toastmaster, and distinguished guests. I want to start with the question, have you ever read a book called How to Win Friends and Influence People? How many of you have read it? Okay. Only three, okay? So it's a very fantastic book by Dale Carnegie. And it has some principles on communication, <coughs> effective communication. I also consider it Gita, Quran, or Bible of communication. <laughs> so there are different principles given about um, about leadership, uh, sorry, effective communication. I want to share some of the principles here in my speech. What is the most beautiful word for you? Most beautiful word for you? Table topics, master. For me, uh, mother, mother, others, master, sorrow. For me, there are a lot of beautiful words. <laughs> Most beautiful word. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Great. But it is it's said that the most person. beautiful word for anyone is their own name. name. I met my principal after 15 years, my school principal, after 15 years. And he's, he came to me and pat me on back and said, Sumitra, how are you doing? I was mesmerized. When he said that, I was so glad. He's now a member of parliament as well. So I thought that, oh my God, he remembers my name. So this is my, the name that he said, Martin Luther King. He had the same thing, same habit. He used to remember the people's name years after meeting them. He, the one technique he used was to rehearse the name. When they were meeting, he used to use, use the name frequently so that he remembers the name in the next meeting. Another principle I, know, uh, I want to share is don't say a man that he is wrong. Okay? Uh, I don't want to say man. <laughs> it is man. A person. I don't ever say a person that he is wrong. My, one day in my school, I run a school, okay, in my school, one parent come, parent come, uh, came and uh, he was furious uh, that he said that he, he, you are not giving enough home assignments and all for, to my child. And he was frequently comparing his child, his child with other children. My principal at that time, just sat there and listened to him. After he completed his, his things, she started. And she started to talk about progressive education and how we are going, we are, what, the, what are the methodologies that we are using. After 30 minutes of discussion, that person was so, so much happy with his child performance. He is now our loyal parent. <laughs> so, my principal, our principal, if she had not, she had interrupted him and talked about the progressive learning, that wouldn't have done good to him. That would have hurt him. Del Carnegie has said that you can never win an argument. Yeah. As a leader, do you consider that for a brisk, brisk of a second or for some time, for your happiness, you want to get someone hurt? 
No. A leader is not like that. So there should be effective communication. So for effective communication, you have you should never say the person that he is wrong. He or she is wrong. Sorry. <laughs> and another thing is put put things in terms of question rather than in terms of command. My mother never asks me to do the dishes. <laughs> He put, she put it in this way. Son, I, I wanted to do the dishes, but I have class and I have to rest. As a son, what should I do? Yes, I'll be doing the dishes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll do the dishes. So she is putting the things in terms of question rather than commanding me to do, do the dishes. Okay. Then, in marketing as well, the same thing happens. A person, uh, my, my, one of my friends called me and told me, if I'm free, are you free? Uh, yes, I am having coffee, I say. Uh, so you are free now and so, so, how, how much time do you have? Or uh, shall I come later? I want to talk to you about one surprising thing that I have found. Okay, so he was talking about the policy. Okay, I didn't know that. So I said, come. Okay, so we, we talked. If he had said that he was talking about policy, I wouldn't have called him, but he <coughs> took it terms of question. So I called him and now I'm his client. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the three principles of effective communication that I've seen. The, the first was, what was the first? The person name, name is the most wonderful thing for them, word for them. Second was, Never tell a person that he is wrong. He or she is wrong, sorry. And the third, third one is put in terms of question rather than in terms of command. Nowadays, my friend, we are listening to reply. We, sh we should not listen to reply. We should listen to understand. It's time that we sh should listen to other pers person and talk in terms of their interest. Thank you so much. Thank you, Toastmaster Sunil. Now, for tonight, our last speaker, not the name Toastmaster Prashant Sunil, is from Malin to